don't let the oversized frame and the sticker uh, get in the way of the message, which is to declare this week Gun Safety Week here in Washington. Yeah, so Gun Safety Week is really just about educating the community on being safe gun owners. Uh, we just want to make sure we get information out that it's not always about taking people's guns away. It's not always just about legislation. For those of us who have guns, it's about being smart with them, actually keeping them in a safe place, uh, locking them up. As we have said several times already today that I want to support is that gun safety saves lives. And guns absolutely do impact survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. I've been doing this work for over 20 years. And I remember when I was early in my career in another state, I got a, I got a helpline call from a woman saying, <coughs> every Saturday night after we watch Lawrence Welk, my husband cleans his gun and tells me everything that I've done wrong that week is that abuse. And we went on to talk more and more about what she thought and what she, um, what her reactions were. She said, what am I supposed to do? I'm in my 60s, he has a gun, and I just don't feel as though I can leave. I would venture to say that in this community that we would have been able to probably better support her in the, in the community I was in at that time. If people are interested, like say they find a weapon that maybe their grandfather had or their dad had and they're no longer with us, if they would like to safely dispose of that weapon, they can call a local law enforcement agency here at the sheriff's office in particular and we'll come out and remove that safely from the home. The other is just about letting people know how it's related to domestic violence, how it's related to accidental shootings, and how it's related to just the homicide rate here in Washington County but across the country. So that's really what it's about. It's about educating the community.